Hey everybody, it's The Man Show, and today we're talking to my friend, Stuart Gibbs. Say hello, Stuart. Hello, everyone. Hello. Now, Stuart, we're going to start off the show by asking you to spend one minute telling us as much about you as you can. Are you ready for this challenge? I'm ready for this. Here we go, and begin. Uh, I uh, grew up actually not too far from here in Austin. I grew up in the Texas Hill Country. Uh, so I always was writing as a kid. I, I always wanted to be a writer uh, for as long as I can remember. I was writing stories even when I was in kindergarten. But uh, I actually wasn't sure I became a writer, so I went off to college and I studied uh, field biology and mm -hmm. uh, kind of by accident became kind of an expert in the capybara, the world's largest rodent, uh, because I was just the first person to study the capybara. Uh, and then, uh, but then Ooh. I decided I really wanted to be an author. So, or actually I, I just a writer of any kind. So I moved out to Hollywood. I worked in the film business. I wrote movies, I wrote television shows. Uh, but uh, eventually I decided my true love was, was I really wanted to write books. So I started with uh, the Fun Jungle series that was actually kind of based upon my experiences working in the zoo. Uh, then I uh, created the Spy School series which was based on an idea I had when I was a kid and uh, the Moonbase Alpha series the uh, Last Musketeer series uh, so now I've got uh, I believe this is my 18th book out now Wow 18 books and four series to boot yes and actually I'm starting a fifth series uh, this uh, this fall uh, Charlie Thorne and the last equation will be the first book in that series Ooh, it, it's gonna be math based uh, there is going to be uh, math, science, uh, codes to solve. I, I always wanted to create a, a series that, that had all sorts of code breaking and, and, and mystery and travel around the world and exotic locations and action sequences and all these really cool places. So this is, this is what I've created. Wow. So a little bit like Spy School. In the, the, there's, it sounds kind of espionage but more on like a... A cryptography. Uh, uh, cryptography. Uh, I, I wanted to have just an incredibly smart character, so so I, I thought uh, oh, I'm going to create the, the smartest person on earth is going to be this 12 year old girl named Charlie Thorne, and uh, <laughs> she uh, she That's can awesome. she can think of things that nobody else can, and and uh, right. So she's sort of uh, the idea of this uh, series is that um, uh, the greatest thinkers throughout time, like Einstein and Darwin and uh, Galileo and Newton, have have discovered things that the rest of humanity uh, cannot be trusted with. That, that they're too dangerous <laughs> to trust us with. And so for decades, uh, our government's been looking for them, other governments have been looking for them, and they, they find out some bad guys are, are close to finding the, uh, something that Einstein discovered. So they've got to find the closest person to Einstein they can, who is this 12-year-old girl named Charlie Thorne, who's just this super genius, uh, who is not like any genius you've ever met before. She's, she's, uh, she's a lot of fun, she's adventurous, she's athletic, uh, she's, uh, she's a bit sassy. And uh, so she's dragged into this world of action and adventure, wow. uh, sort of again against her will to track all these things down. Now, so uh, you brought your newest book with you, right? I did, yes. And can, so this is the Spy, the spy Series. Yes, spy the school Spy series. School Series, yes. Now, can you tell us a little bit about that? I'm, I'm assuming this takes place in uh, Germany, is that? Yes, yes, Spy School, British Invasion, but it's all a ruse. <laughs> um, uh, it, uh, it does take place in England. Um, this is the seventh book in this series. And so this is a series uh, where a kid named Ben Ripley uh, gets recruited to the CIA's top secret academy of espionage. And he thinks this is going to be awesome. They're going to turn him into James Bond. And it turns out to be a lot harder to be James Bond than he was hoping. Uh, he, he's a normal, James Bond is not a normal person. Uh, ben is kind of a normal person. And so he does what normal people do, which is screw up. And uh, he's been thrown into this world full of action and danger and intrigue. Uh, Ben's real uh, talent is that he's smart, and so he can figure out what the bad guys are up to and figure out how to defeat them. Uh, and so he's, he's, uh, he's sort of... Uh gone through a couple, uh, he's kind of gotten involved by accident in his first couple adventures, but as the school's realized he's actually pretty good at this, uh, he's, been, he's been activated a little bit more. And uh, it always seemed to me that if, if you're a fan of spy books or spy movies, uh, you know, you start having to go to, uh, travel around the world, go to exotic places. Uh, or, and, and so I happen to be in London with my family. And uh, my, when I started writing, uh, my son was two, and my daughter did not exist yet. And now they're old enough to go on vacation with me, and uh, they had ideas. We, would, we were traveling around London, and they were saying, oh, hey, we could have an action sequence in the Tower Bridge, and we could have an action sequence in the British Museum. And uh, I was like, okay, these sound like good ideas. I'm going to uh, try and build a story around, uh, around this. Goodbye! Goodbye!